and we're going to press the sitting bones down into the ground for the Mula Bandha, so for that kind of pelvic floor engagement. We're going to draw the navel into the tummy button, uh, navel into the spine for Udhyana Bandha, so that's kind of engaging through the lower abdominals. And then we're going to lift the spine up out of the pelvis, so the crown of the head is reaching up towards the ceiling. Arms by your sides, hands on your knees, nice and relaxed. And gently allow the eyes to close or the gaze to soften, whichever feels good for you today. Okay, we're going to start to take the focus inward. So pressing the sit bones down into the, into the floor, lifting up through the crown of the head. We're going to start to inhale in and out through the nose. So breathing in deeply through the nose, filling the lungs and exhaling completely. And again, this time I'm going to inhale, fill the lungs all the way from the bottom to the very top, to the back of the throat. And exhaling out through the nose. As you finish your exhale, draw the navel back in towards the spine to engage through the bandha. And again, inhale through the nose, this time from the back of the heart to the front of the stomach. And exhale completely, again, drawing the navel into the spine as you complete your exhale. Finally, a nice deep breath in through the nose from side to side, so from one armpit to the other. And exhaling completely, keeping the shoulders nice and soft, drawing the navel back into the spine. Finally, a three-dimensional breath, so inhale through the nose, taking the breath from the top to the, bo to the, to the bottom, back to front and side to side, lungs. And exhaling completely. So we'll talk you through the 12 focus breaths, breathing in and out through the nose. At the base of each exhale, try and draw the navel in towards the spine and keep the sit bones pressing down into the mat. Always lifting the crown of the head up to lengthen the spine and past the pelvis. So finally, a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale fully. Echo, inhale. Echo, exhale. Dway, inhale. Dway, exhale. Trini, inhale. Trini, exhale. Chitwari, inhale. Chitwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Pancha, exhale. Shat, inhale. Shat, exhale. Sapta, inhale. Sapta, exhale. Ashta, inhale. Ashta, exhale. Nava, inhale. Nava, exhale. Desha, inhale. Desha, exhale. Ekadasha, inhale. Ekadasha, exhale. Dwadasha, inhale. Dwadasha, exhale. Opening up the eyes, allowing the breath to move freely, bringing your consciousness back into the room. I'm just going to roll over the knees and come onto our hands and knees. So take your time, come onto your hands and knees. And then we're going to sit, bring the big toes together, take the knees out wide. We're going to sink back down into child's posture. So trying to bring the buttocks down onto the heels, don't worry if they don't meet. And then bringing the forehead down onto the mat, stretching the arms out in front of you. Keeping the arms engaged, so don't drop the elbows onto the mat. Keep the arms engaged. You're reaching forward with your fingertips. And allow the hips to 
sink back into the heels as deep as they will go, keeping the forehead on, planted onto the mat, nice and lightly. Inhale and exhale, feeling the breath going into the back of the ribs. And then just gently see if you can inch your fingers forward a little bit more and create a little bit more of a stretch under the armpit. So just maybe even it's only a couple of millimetres, creep your fingertips forward, feel the stretch under the armpit. Inhale and exhale here, feeling that opening in the back ribs. Okay, from here, we're just going to walk the hands off the mat, keeping the hips where they are, walk the hands off the mat. So we're doing a nice side stretch here. So if you come up, if you come off to the right hand side, place your left hand on top of your right, keep the head down. So we've still got the, the forehead down on the mat and just relax into it. Inhale here, feel the breath filling the left hand side of your ribs. Feeling a stretch under your left armpit. And exhale, allow the hips to sink back a little bit lower, just a fraction lower into the heels. Last time, inhale, filling the left hand side of the ribcage. And exhale. And then gently walking the hands back to the center. We're going to take them all the way over to the left hand side this time. So, left hand comes off the mat, place the right hand on top. Just come to where's comfortable for you today. Forehead down onto the mat. Inhale, feel the breath, feel the right hand side of your, of your rib cage and feel that stretch under the right armpit. Exhale, sinking the hips deep back into the heels. Last time, forehead gently resting on the floor as you inhale through the nose, feeling it filling the right hand side of the lungs. Feeling the intercostal muscles spreading out a little bit, the rib cage opens up on that side. As you exhale, allow the hips to sink down into the heel. And then gently walking your hands back to the center. And then just in child's posture, so hand bow in front, forehead down on the mat, central, so it's directly in front of your hips. Just wiggle your hips side to side, so just opening out the hip joints a little bit. So as if you're swaying your hips in child's posture, that's it. So feel the opening on the inside of the hips. You should feel it in your hip, uh, your adductors, and feel it on the outside of the hips and the back of the glutes. And then come to stillness, forehead back on the mat, elbows pressing into the mat. You're gonna raise your hands up above your head, so bring them into prayer position. Lift them up above your head as if you've got a shark spin. Keeping the forehead down on the mat. Inhale and exhale here. Sinking the hips back into the heels and then just gently see if you can walk your elbows forward, keeping your palms, keeping your prayer hands above the head. See if they'll come a touch forward. Inhale and exhale. Release the hands back down to the mat. And then bringing yourself up onto your hands and knees nice and gently. Bringing the knees square underneath you. So we had our knees wide. Bring them in so that the knees are directly under the hips and your um, shoulders are directly above the hands. Just going to do a few little hip circles here. So dropping the right hip down towards the right heel and then sinking down comes central. So the, your bottom comes in between the two heels. Then your left hip is over the left heel and then coming back forward. So we're doing a great big circle with our body. So as if you're drawing a big circle with your bottom. So come down towards the right heel, centralize your hips, bring them over the left heel and then come forward. One last time in this direction, sinking down over the right heel, central, left, Forward, stop here, and then we're going to change direction. So bring your hips over the left heel this time. Central, right, forward. So keep it nice and strong in the core so your navel draws into your spine to support your back. Two, and last time, sink down, central, and back up. Lovely. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of cat cow and then we'll. Um, kind of increase the cat cow movement. So 
Again, knees are under your hips, hands are under your shoulders. So for it's cow, isn't it? We're going to lift the hips up, drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the gaze, inhale here through the nose. And as you exhale, drop the tailbone, start to articulate through your spine. So imagine you're trying to work, move one vertebra at a time, drop the head and neck, press firmly into the mat with your hands until you feel that stretch across the top of your shoulders. Then inhale as you lift the hips, drop the belly, articulate it through the spine, lift the chest, lift the nose, lift the gaze, and then exhale, curl the tailbone under, arch through the spine, pressing firmly into the mat, fingers are nice and spread wide, so we've got good foundation. Last time, lift the hips, drop the belly, inhale, lift the chest, chest moving forward, gaze looking up, Exhale, drop the hips, articulate through the spine, round through the back, press firmly into the mat, feel that stretch across the chest. And coming into neutral spine, hands and knees. So we're just going to do, we're going to increase the expression of, of cat cows. It's the same movement, but um, we're developing a little bit. So making sure you've got a good strong foundation. So fingers are spread, you want nice wide. Um, hands, palms are pressing firmly into the mat and taking care to keep strong in your core so you don't sink to one side or the other. So we're going to lift the right foot, so keep the knee bent, lift the right foot as if you're trying to plant the sole of your foot onto the ceiling in front of you. And inhale here and then as you exhale, draw it through, trying to bring the nose towards the knee, drop the nose. So you kind of arching through the, the back again and then as you inhale take it back sweep it back so this is like cow but with the leg working as well lift the, the foot up towards the ceiling exhale draw the nose towards the knee towards the nose keeping your core strong as you inhale taking that leg back up and then exhale knee nose to knee Keeping the core strong so you don't slump into it, okay? And drop that right knee back down, back into all fours. Other side, keeping nice and strong. Navel into spine, nice strong core. Inhale as you lift the left foot up, the left foot comes up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you squeeze the, no the knee towards the nose, keeping the core nice and strong. Inhale, take that foot up towards the ceiling. And exhale as you curl back down. I've got cramp in my foot, keep going. Last time, inhale as you take the left foot up, lovely. And then exhale, bring the knee down towards the nose, nose to knee. And then come back to neutral. Okay, from here, we're gonna do our first downward dog. So tuck the toes under, lifting the hips nice and strong through the core. Don't worry if your legs aren't straight, they can be bent. We're looking for a nice stretch in the back. So hips come high, heels start to move towards the mat, bring them all the way down to the mat if you can. Legs start to straighten. Once again, your fingers are spread wide, you want a nice strong foundation. Fingers are spread wide and you've got, there's an external rotation of your upper arms as if you're trying to hide your armpits from the person next to you. So you're externally rotating the upper arm, but still pressing the thumbs into the mat. Hold it here. Let's have a little bit of pedal. So pedal one knee, then the other. Just wait the hamstrings up. Lovely. Okay, come to stillness. Nice deep breath in, three-dimensional breath in through the nose. Filling the lungs and the exhaling. And then we're just going to walk the feet towards the hands. So keeping the legs as straight as you can, but bend them as much as you want to. Continue to lengthen through the crown of the head. So we're a nice kind of L shape, upside down L shape. You might need to slide your hands up your uh, shins first. You want a nice extension through the crown of the head, all the way through the spine. Exhale, just flop forwards, forward fold again. And then as you inhale, sweep the arms up, coming up to standing. Taking the hands up above the head, look to your thumbs. 
then dropping the hands to the side for Tadasana or Samasthitahi. Okay, so we'll do a sun salutation. So feet together, these are your foundations. So you want your big toes touching. Uh, lift your all 10 toes and just spread them out and then press them back down. So you've got a nice strong foundation. Lifting through the, the thighs to lift the kneecaps up. Strong through the tummy, drawing the navel into the spine. Gentle engagement through your pelvic floor. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms up, keep that engagement in the core. Look to the thumbs if that feels good for you. Exhale, swallow, dive, taking the, coming into a forward fold, taking the hands down, coming, hands coming to the floor, bend your knees if you like. Then inhale, lift and lengthen again. So straightening through the spine, slide your hands up your shins as much as you want to. And then exhale, forward fold again, placing the palms on the floor and we're taking our feet back into a high plank. You can stay in high plank or you can bring the, drop the knees to the floor, whichever you wish. So coming from high plank or knees, hands and knees, you're going to keep the elbows close to the body and we're going to do like a, a tricep press up. So keeping the elbows close to the body, bring the chest and the chin down towards the floor. When you get just above the floor, inhale, sweep your chest through your arms, lift the chest into a little cobra. So keeping the elbows bent, little back bend, legs pressing into the mat, chest moving forward. And then exhale, coming into child's posture for a moment, or head down on the mat. And then tucking the toes under, we'll lift it back up into upward, uh, downward facing dog. So again, hips are high, palms pressing into the mat, heels moving down towards the mat, nice and strong through the core. Inhale and exhale. From here, three-legged dog, so lift the right leg up, just as high as you're comfortable. Don't slump into one arm or the other. Try and keep it nice and square. Take that leg up. Exhale, bend the knee and take the legs through. So you come into a lunge. We'll do a warrior. So from here, the left foot turns in at a sort of 45 degree angle and plant it down on the floor. Find your balance, move from your core here. So strong core, pressing up into, into uh, warrior one. So right leg is bent, left leg is straight. Inhale, take the arms up into your full warrior position. Look into the hands if that suits you. Hands can be touching together or parallel, arms are parallel. Inhale, exhale here, pressing the outside edge of the left foot into the mat, keeping this weight distributed between both feet. Exhale, and we're going to open the arms out. So we're squeezing the shoulder blades together. Draw it, that's it, lovely. Inhale, exhale here. Keep the tailbone long so you're not pinching the lower spine. Inhale, exhale here. Gaze is slightly up towards the ceiling. And then dropping the hands behind you. See if you can clasp your hands behind your butt. Lovely. Straighten out the arms as much as you feel comfortable, keeping your tailbone long. Keep the outside edge of your left foot pressing into the mat. Inhale as you exhale. Drape the upper body, the torso over that right leg as much, just come as far as you wish, taking care not to bend too deeply in the right knee. And just allow the hands to follow the movement of your body, keeping into humble warrior. From here, just drop the hands so they land either side of the right foot. And we're going to swap sides, so taking the right foot back. And again, you can come down onto your knees or stay in high plank. And we're going to keep the arms close to the body as you bring the chest and the chin down towards the mat. Inhale, sweep the body through the arms into upward facing dog or cobra. Nice little back bend, lifting through the chest, opening through the collarbones. Exhale, tuck your toes under and come back into downward facing dog. Let's take two nice deep breaths here. So three dimensional breaths, pressing through the palms. Just notice the sensation as you. Press through the palms and keep your shoulders away from your ears. So this time we're going to lift the left leg. So left leg comes up into three-legged dog. 
Notice where your center is. You don't want to be leaning over to the right hand side. Exhale, bend that left knee and bring it through. And then the right foot, the right ankle spirals in. So your foot's at 45 degree angle. Find your core. So find your core and then standing up, moving from that core. Nice and strong. Lovely. Okay, inhale, sweep the arms up into your warrior one. Again, arms will be parallel or hands together, whatever works for you. Sinking into that left knee, making sure the outside edge of your right foot is pressing into the mat. Making sure your tailbone is long, there's no pinching in your lower back. Lovely, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, elbows come out, cactus arms like we did before. Lovely. Inhale. Looking slightly up as if you're trying to lift your chest up towards the ceiling, but keep your tailbone long. And then exhale, drop the hands behind you, taking, clasping the hands behind you, straightening out the arms as much as you can to open out the chest. Inhale, lift the head, lift the gaze, keep the tailbone long. Exhale, forward fold into humble warrior. Taking the body over the left thigh, Lifting the arms as high as they want to come up, opening through the front of the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lovely. And then drop the hands either side of the left foot. And again, take that left foot back, come into high plank, or hands in. Either way, keep the elbows close to the body as you bring the chest and the chin and chest down towards the ground. Inhale, sweep the body through the arms, and coming into upward facing dog, or keep the arms bent for cobra if that suits you today. Exhale, tuck your toes under, and come into downward facing dog. And this time we're gonna take the right foot forward, but we're gonna drop the left knee. We're just gonna wake up the psoas a little bit. So I always get out of breath in this part. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna do, go from runner's lunge, we're gonna go from a lunge to a runner's lunge. So left knee is dropped. Turn your foot so the top of your foot is the top of your left foot is flat on the floor. And we're going to lean forward into that right, right knee, letting this hip flexor stretch out, just releasing through the hip flexor. So we're not pushing it, we're releasing it. And then exhale, drop back. So you're sinking back into your left hip and stretching out through the right hamstring, lifting the toes to increase the stretch if you wish. And then we'll do it two more times. So coming forwards, release through the front, the front of the left thigh, right at the top, the hip flexor. And exhale, dropping hips back, flexing the right foot if you want to increase the stretch in the right leg. Final time. Lean forward, weight comes forward, release through the front of the hip and taking it back, lifting the right foot up if that suits you today. Okay, now coming back to centre, back to neutral. We're going to sweep the arms up, so we're going to do with the crescent lunge. So inhale, a bit like warrior, but we've got our left knee down. Inhale, take the arms up like we do in warrior and just Again, sink into that into that um, right knee and feel that release at the front of your left hip. Lifting the arms up, so we're pressing down through our foundations, our foundations, our right foot and our left knee and shin and foot. And we're lifting up through the hands. Keep breathing, keep nice and strong in the core. Lifting gently through the pelvic floor, drawing the navel into the spine. Exhale, bring your hands down in front of you in prayer position. Find your balance and then you fell over. We're going to do a little twist. So inhale as you lift the elbows and exhale as you drop your left elbow over to the outside of your right knee. That's it, lovely. Okay. From here, inhale. As we inhale, we're lengthening the crown of the head away towards the front of the mat. And as we exhale, we're drawing the right shoulder back 
um, as if someone's pulling backwards on the right shoulder. If you feel comfortable here and you want to take it further, you can drop the left hand down to the floor. Again, it's on the outside of your right foot and you can lift your right hand up. And you can just stay in prayer position, whatever suits you. Inhale, lengthening through the crown. Exhale, pressing the hands together. See if you can take the twist a bit further. And release, come back to centre. Hands either side of the left foot. Tuck your uh, right foot, I should say. Tuck your left toe under. Let's take it back into down facing dog. Have a little pedal here. That felt quite strong on the legs. And we'll do the other side. So this time it's the left foot coming forward. So taking the left foot forward, right knee comes down onto the mat, and then place the top of your right foot on the mat, okay? So again, we're gonna do those three rocking forwards and back. So as you come forwards, feel that release at the very front of your right thigh. And as you exhale, drop the hips back, Flexing the left foot if your hamstring is letting you do that today. And then inhale, coming forward, allowing the front of the right hip to stretch out. Exhale, coming back, bringing the left foot flexed. And coming forward last time, releasing through the front of the right thigh. And exhale, sinking back into a runs lunge, left foot flex, and then coming to neutral. Once again, before you lift your hands off the floor, find your core. So pelvic floor gently lifted, navel draws into spine, feel strong and long, lift through the crown of the head, move from your core, inhale, take your arms up. So a bit like warrior arms are up, arms parallel or hands together, it's up to you and feel that stretch down the front of the right thigh. Inhale and exhale. When you next exhale, drawing the hands down into prayer position in front of the chest. Now we inhale, lift the elbows up, exhale to take them, the right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. If you want to take it a bit further, drop the right hand down to the floor, lift the left hand up. Every time you inhale, think about lengthening through the crown of the head, lengthening through the spine. Each time you exhale, imagine someone's gently pulling your left shoulder back. You're trying to stack the shoulders one on top of the other. Keep breathing. And release back to centre. Plant both hands either side of the left foot, tuck the right toes under, and coming back into downward facing dog. Lovely. Let's walk the feet forward. Do a bit of Uttanasana, like Uttanasana. So feet come forward, feet slightly apart, about hip distance apart. Keep that forward fold, placing the right thumb in the left shoulder crease, uh, elbow crease, left thumb in the right shoulder crease, so your arms are sort of folded. And then from here, you're just going to let the head and neck hang. So it's just a nice forward fold, using the weight of the arms and the shoulders to give a bit of traction in the spine. You can keep your knees bent, you might straighten your legs, whichever you're doing, try to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And really release through the spine, allowing the weight, the head, the neck, the arms, to just release through the spine. From here, just release the hands down to the ground. I'll do what I did last week. So we'll keep in our forward fold and just walk the hands in front of you, about two foot in front of you. So you've got straight arms, hands are in front of you, and then you're almost going to grip the ground with your fingertips and lean back into your hips. So on my mat sliding of the web up, it just it's just a slightly different sensation. It gives a bit of a stretch down the back of the arms, underneath the armpits. Hold it here, gripping the floor with your fingertips, keeping the shoulders relaxed, keeping the head relaxed. 
and release the arms completely. We're going to very carefully roll up through the spine. Keep breathing, taking a nice deep breath in as we come up. Nice and gentle. And just take a moment there. We've been upside down for quite a while, so just check you're not dizzy. Okay, right, still working on the front of the thigh. We're going to do a little half moon. This is one of my favourites. I always say that, don't I? Everything's my favourite in yoga. So we're going to take the right foot behind the left foot. So take your right foot behind so it comes to the other side of your left foot. So you sort of look like you're desperate for a waist thing. We're going to take both hands up and grab your right wrist with your left hand. And then we're going to inhale, reaching over to the side. So we're really stretching down the right side, pulling your right wrist with your left hand over to the side and feel the stretch. Now breathe into all that space you just created. Feeling like, just imagine all those intercostal muscles and the ribs separating. Feeling the breath, filling that space, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, come back to centre. Drop the arms for a moment. And we'll just swatch sides and give your shoulders a nice little circle. So this time, left foot behind the right. I'm going to inhale, taking hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Inhale, taking it over to the side. So we're staying nice and straight. We're not bringing the body forward or back, nice and straight. Inhale, feel that release. So it's releasing all the way down the ribs. You should even feel it coming all the way down the front of that left thigh. Inhale, pull again. So pull the left arm over with your right hand. And exhale, coming back to centre. Lovely, give your shoulders a bit of a release. Okay, so we've got um, Parvottanasana, uh, Parjvakranasana, I should say. So pyramid pose. Um, so uh, I'll come to this side. So we're going to take a stiff, oh, I've got all confused here. So if you're facing, the, if you're at the front of the mat, we're going to take a step to the right towards the back of your mat. So your right foot's pointing straight down the mat. Now your left foot is at a 45 degree angle. So it's a little, the feet are in the same sort of position as warrior one, but they're much closer together. And then we're going to take the hands behind the body. So you can take them, you can take hold of your elbows like this, or you can do reverse namaste with the fingers pointing down, or you might be able to come to reverse namaste, fingers pointing up. So it doesn't matter. Just be careful because it's quite tough on your wrists, this. So if it's pinching your wrists, please just change your choice. Okay, so from here, weight is in both feet. So you want to be pressing firmly into both feet. Have that front right knee slightly soft. So you don't want to lock it out. You're going to inhale, draw the navel into the spine, lengthen the tailbone, lift through the chest. So imagine you're lifting the sternum up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, keeping the hips stationary where they are, you're going to take the body over that right leg, keeping the right leg straight, knee is soft, but right leg straight. And we're trying to keep the spine nice and straight. So it's not about how far you come, it's about a nice, long, straight spine. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head, wherever you're at. Exhale, see if you can take the fold a little bit deeper. Inhale, one more time, lengthen through the crown, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and exhale. Come to the full expression of your posture. And then I'm gonna inhale, come all the way up. Keeping the arms in the position you've chosen, we're just going to swap sides. So literally turn your right foot in, turn your left foot out. So you've spun all the way around. That's it. And again, weights in both feet, left knee slightly soft. Inhale, lift the sternum up, lengthen through the tailbone, navel draws into spine. Be really strong in your center. Exhale, leading forward. So you're moving forward from your sternum, your nice long spine. Don't worry about how far down you come. 
Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, see if you can take it a little bit further, but without losing that form in your spine. Last time, inhale through the crown of the head. And exhale, come forward if you can. And then inhale all the way up. And exhale. Let's keep the feet wide. Face the side of the mat. We'll do a wide-legged uh, forward fold. So, Prasarita Padottanasana. So, hands on the hips. Feet planted, so you want the outside edges of your feet to be parallel with the outside edge of your mat. Um, pressing into the big toe and the little toe, keeping those legs nice and engaged. Inhale, lift the sternum slightly up towards the ceiling, lengthen through your tailbone, nice and strong through your core. Exhale, fold it forwards from the hips, keeping that spine nice and long and strong like you did just now. Dropping the hands down to the mat in front of you. If you, if you can come to the mat with your legs straight, great. If you want to bend your knees slightly, then please bend your knees. I'm gonna inhale and look up slightly, look to the horizon. And the purpose of this is you're trying to really straighten and lengthen through the spine. And then as you exhale, now you're gonna allow the head and the neck to drop down. We're trying to move the crown of the head down towards the floor. That's the direction it's going in. Keep the hips lifted. Keep pressing down through the big toe and the little toe, engaged through the legs. Nice and strong through the legs. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Each time you exhale, drawing that navel into the spine. See if you can come a little bit further into your fold. Last time, inhale, long spine. And exhale, squeezing the navel into the spine. Be nice and strong. And then we're going to inhale, push your hands into the mat, look to the horizon again. Exhale, pop your hands back on your hips and inhale, coming all the way back up to standing. Lovely. Okay, we'll do that one more time with a twist. So hands on hips, inhale, lengthen your tailbone, press through the toes, lift the chest up to the ceiling. Exhale, nice and long, straight spine, nice and strong. Folding forwards, drop the hands down to the mat. So this time you're gonna place the right hand in the center so it's in front of you, but directly between your feet. And as you inhale, press the right hand into the mat, lift the left hand up, so we're aiming to stack. That's it, that's it, lift the left hand up. If your left hand's not feeling like coming up, pop it on your hip. You're pressing firmly into the mat with your right hand, lifting up through the left fingertips, lovely. Feeling the twist, keep breathing. So the crown of your head is moving forwards this time, moving towards, um, for most of you, towards the computer screen. Keep breathing, keep pressing that right hand into the mat, keep the shoulders relaxed, left hand lifting up towards the ceiling. And exhale, bring the left hand down, we're just gonna swap sides, so this time your left hand's right in the middle, press down through the left hand, gently lift the right, taking it up, Popping it on the hip if you want to, otherwise lifting the fingers up towards the ceiling. Press, so the weight is evenly distributed between both feet, pressing down into that left hand side, lifting through the right fingertips, lovely. Trying to stack the right shoulder on top of the left. Keep breathing, keep lengthening through the front of the head. And exhale, bringing that hand back down. And from here, Let's get ourselves down to the floor from here. So just give yourself a bit of space to come down onto your hands and knees. Even to leaving. I didn't want to make you do another sun salutation. Okay, so we'll do Paschimottanasana. Legs out in front of you. So traditionally keep your legs straight, but if you're feeling that you want to keep them bent today, that's absolutely fine. It's a nice forward fold, nice stretch for the hamstring. So we're going to press down through the sit bones, lift through the pelvic floor, engage through, so navel draws into the spine, 
And imagine you're lifting up through the sternum. So moving from the breastbone in this posture. So inhale, lift through the crown of the head. Exhale, moving forward from your sternum. So we're forward folding. Doesn't matter where you come to, slide your hands down your shins. You might stop on your shins, you might take your ankles. You can reach the feet, take your hands round the feet so your fingers are pressing into the soles of your feet. From here, keep pressing those sit bones down. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, moving forward from your sternum. So you're not trying to round your back, you're trying to keep it nice and straight. You should feel it in the back of your hamstrings. And keep breathing. And inhale, lift back up to sit to the fully seated. We'll just do a, we'll do a little. Let's do a, 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 another chest opener. So taking the hands behind your bottom with your fingers pointing forwards, little chest opener. So we've done this before. You've got three options. You can press the hands into the mat, keep the sit bones down, lift through the chest. You can bend the knees and lift um, into tabletop, or you can keep the legs straight and lift all the way up. It's up to you. So choose your position. And you can swap if you find one's not, not right for you today. Fingers point forward. Inhale as you lift into your posture, wherever it is. Press the hands firmly into the mat, really opening through the front of the chest, really pressing through. Lovely, nice open chest. That's it. Keep breathing. Make sure you keep breathing. Four, last one. And five, and release, lovely. Okay, and then we'll come into Janish Shastana A, and on the other one. Okay, I'm just turning around so you can see what I'm doing. So from straight legs, we're gonna bend the right knee in, and then we're gonna rotate from the hip and drop that right knee out to the side. Now, if you're feeling tight in your hips today and your knee is waving about, feeling uncomfortable, you can pop a prop under it, pop a pillow under it. I've got my jumper under mine. Um, you might need that, you might not. You might need it on the other side, just see how you feel. Both feet are flexed. Inhale, lift through the crown. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. So walk the hands down the left leg, taking the shin or the ankle. If you come to the foot, great, take the foot. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, drawing the body down. Allow the head and the neck to relax down. And keep breathing, keeping both feet flexed. Inhale, lift the head and neck. Exhale to release. Sit up, bringing the right knee back to centre and extending. That back down and we'll swap sides. So bending the left knee. And again, use a prop if you need to or want to today. Rotate from the hip, not the knee, so that, that that left knee is coming down towards the floor. Both feet are flexed. Inhale, lift through the crown of the head. Exhale as you move forward from your sternum, pressing your sit bones down into the mat. Find your position. It doesn't matter where you are, you want a nice long spine, you want to feel it in the back of your right leg. Inhale, lengthen through the crown, exhale, forward fold, this time allow the head and neck to relax and drop down towards the shin. Keep breathing, keep both feet flexed, keep the sit bones pressing down into the mat. Inhale, lift the head and neck. And exhale, come back up to sitting. And release that left leg. Okay, how much time have we got? Mm. Okay, we'll do a couple of little back bends. We're going to get, do back bends on our tummy today. We're going to do a uh, Shalabhasana locust. So if you bring yourself down onto the mat, but on your tummy, 
we work on our back bends and think about that sensation that we worked on at the beginning in the front of the thighs in that hip flexor. We really want to stretch the whole of the front of the body for a good back bend. So lying down face flat on that, hands next to the body, palms facing up, feet squeezing together, thighs squeezing together. We're going to inhale, lift the head and the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you're okay to continue, you can lift the feet as well. So you've got the head, the shoulders and the feet off the mat. If that's too much today, you can keep the feet flat on the mat. Wherever you're at, trying to take the, move the feet backwards as, as if you're trying to lengthen the legs. You're trying to, you want a nice stretch all the way through the front of the body. So the chest is moving forward and the feet are moving back. Keep breathing. Two and one. And just release, just relax it there for a moment, bring the forehead back onto the mat. And we're going to repeat that, but we're going to lift the arms and place the hands next to the ribs. So this time we're going to inhale, lift the head and the chest up. Lift the feet up as well, keeping the legs straight if that's for you. And then squeeze the hands up so the, ha the arms stay straight, the palms move towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bend at the elbows so that the palms come and they sit on the mat next to your lower ribs, just above your waist. Inhale again, reaching the chest forward and the feet back, lengthening through the legs. Just notice the sensation in your hip flexors, that hip crease. And release, bring the head back down towards the floor. Okay, I'm out of breath again. So rolling over onto your back, and we'll do another back bend but on our backs this time. So we'll just do a bridge. And like I always say, it's all about that sensation in your legs, powering through your legs. So as we come into bridge, imagine you're trying to stretch out the quads and shoot your kneecaps as far away from you as you can. You want to stretch out this muscle all the way into the psoas. So we're gonna inhale, exhale. Your next inhale. Lift through the pelvic floor, navel into spine, press through the feet, strengthen through the quads, pushing the hips up towards the ceiling. Just shuffle your arms underneath your body so your hands can meet in the middle so you can either keep your hands flat on the floor or you can clasp your hands under your body. Keep pressing through the feet, keep super strong through the fronts of the thighs so your knees as if you're trying to lengthen your knees away into the corner of the room. Lovely. Keep squeezing the shoulders underneath you. Keep breathing. Four and five. Just release the hips down to the mat for a breath here. We're going to do that two more times. So inhale, exhale at the bottom of your exhale. Pelvic floor engages, navel into spine. As you inhale, press through the feet, lengthen through the front of the thighs, shooting those knees as far away from you as you can, really stretching the front of the body from the kneecaps all the way to the navel, really stretching, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep breathing. On your next exhale, release the hips back down. Stay in position for one more. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Bottom of the exhale. Engage through the pelvic floor. Navel into spine. Now press through the feet. Keep the heels down on the floor. Lengthening through the quadriceps. Gently squeezing through the glutes. Don't you don't want your, your glutes to be super rock hard but there is some work going on there. Really lengthening through those quads. That looks really good. Lifting the hips up towards the ceiling. And finally exhaling all the way back down. Bring the hips down to the mat, lovely. 
Okay, from here we'll just do a recline pigeons with that on our back. So keeping the knees bent, bringing the right ankle over onto just above the left knee, just on your left thigh. Taking the hands, so lift the left leg up, take the hands behind the left thigh. Exhale as you squeeze the left thigh towards you and open out through the right hip. So you can gently, I like to gently nudge my right thigh away from me with my right elbow. Go easy, you don't want to um, hurt your knee. Keep breathing, inhale. Exhale, so you can draw that left knee a bit closer towards the body. Right knee moves away. And release that left leg down. Take your time, swap sides. So the right foot plants down on the floor, left ankle going onto the right thigh, opening out through that left hip. Inhale as you bring the left knee to uh, the right knee towards you, I should say, and take the hands behind the right thigh. Inhale, exhale, squeezing the right thigh towards you, opening out through the left hip. Keep breathing, trying to keep the shoulders back on the floor. Squeezing the left of the right knee towards you. And release those back down. Keep the knees nice and bent. Taking the arms out either side of you. I'm just going to drop both knees over to the right hand side. So nice and gentle. Dropping both knees over so the right knee comes down to the mat. Keeping that left shoulder down on the mat if you can. And take the gaze over towards the left hand side. It's a nice twist all the way through the body. Inhale and exhale. Allowing the abdomen to rise and fall fully with your breath. Inhale and exhale. Gently coming back to centre. Gaze comes back to centre, knees are central, and then dropping the knees over to the left hand side and taking the gaze over to the right hand side. Keeping the right shoulder down on the mat. Inhale and exhale. And then bring the knees back to centre, gaze back to centre. So you're going to come into your Shavasana. So if you do want to put a jumper on or anything, or socks, or if you've got a blanket, just make yourself nice and warm and comfortable and pop your jumper on. If you've got eyeglasses on, um, just take them off and pop them somewhere safe. Um, you can't put them on your abdomen, just don't forget at the end. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. If you've got any lights above you, it's nice to switch them off. Get yourself nice and comfy. When you're ready, coming down to lying, if you feel any pinching in your lower back, just keep the knees bent and the feet are slightly wider than the knees so the knees can just relax into one another. If you don't need to do that, then lengthen out the legs, allowing the feet to flop out to the side. Hands, arms by your body, slightly away from the body, palms facing up. Just start to focus on your breathing. So, we're not making any effort with the breathing, it's smooth, soft, natural breathing, in and out through the nose. If you can, if you prefer the mouth, go with the mouth, whichever feels good for you. And gently allow the body to sink into the, into the mat. I'm gonna do a little body scan. We're gonna start with the right toes. So we're going to move from the right big toe all the way through to the little toe. We're going to try and relax through the toes, release the toes, the natural curve in the toe, and allow that to be. Feel the softness travel down through the sole of the foot. 
all the way around the ankle and the heel. Feel that softness over the top of the foot so that your feet aren't in any shoes, there's no pressure on them. Relax through the ankle, try and release any gripping down in the ankle, consciously trying to let it go. And then feeling the backs of the calves sinking into the mat, just allow gravity to pull the calves down into the mat. I feel that supporting you. Relaxing through the fronts of the shins. Releasing all the little muscles around the kneecaps and at the back of the knee. Travelling up into the thighs, releasing through the fronts of the thighs. As you release through the thigh, it allows the kneecaps just, just to release down a little bit. Allowing the backs of the thighs to sit, the back of the right thigh to sink into the mat. Just feel gravity pulling the thigh down into the mat and feel the mat support you. And taking your attention to your left toes. So moving from the big toe to the little toe, softening through each toe, allowing that natural curve in the toes to be. Feel the softness traveling down the sole of the foot. Curling around the heel. Notice the softness in the top of the foot. There's no shoe holding the foot in, just softness. Relaxing through the ankle, releasing and gripping in that joint. Allowing the back of the calf to sink heavily into the mat. Releasing, relaxing through the front of the shin and releasing all those little muscles around the kneecap. Relaxing the back of the knee. Relaxing through the left quadricep. All the way around to the back of the thigh, now in the back of the left thigh to sink heavily into the mat. And the mat's there to support it. Then moving up to the hips, just taking your next breath. Imagine you're taking that breath into the hip joints. And as you exhale, see if you can release any tension or gripping from the hips, or imagine releasing that tension from the hips. And just see if by breathing into the hips, releasing as you exhale, can you open the hips a little bit more? They just give them a little wiggle side to side as you lie down the flat. Allowing the buttocks to sink into the mat. And taking our attention now to the abdomen. So as we inhale, the abdomen rises. As we exhale, it gently softens back down. And just allow that to be. We're not holding the abdomen in. Just allow the breath to fully fill the lungs and exhale. And the next inhale, just notice the back body. You notice how the back presses into the mat as you inhale. And then the pressure softens as you exhale. Taking the attention into the right fingertips. Relaxing through the fingers, relaxing the thumb, allowing that natural curve in the fingers. Feeling the softness travel into the palm of the hand. All the way around back of the hand. And really consciously release through the wrist, allow it to soften. Feeling the arm pressing into the mat, sinking into the mat. Release through the elbow joint, feeling the top of the arm, relaxing and sinking down into the mat. Then taking your attention to your left fingers, 
allowing the fingers and thumb to soften, to curl in. Feel that softness in the palm of the hand, all the way around the back, and consciously releasing through the wrist and allowing it to soften. The arm sinks into the mat, the elbow releases, the top of the arm sinks heavily into the mat. Next, the inhalation. Notice the collarbones, allow them to open up as you breathe in. And as you exhale, see if you can sink the shoulders back down into the mat a little bit more, allowing the weight of your arms to help relax the shoulders back and open through the collarbones. Moving up to the jaw. If you like, you can open and close your mouth a couple of times to release a little through the jaw. Come into stillness. Taking your attention into the spot just in between the eyebrows, softening through that spot in between the eyebrows, softening through the corners of the eyes. Inhale and exhale. Softening across the forehead, allowing the brow to broaden. And that sensation of broadening travels up over the scalp, over the crown of the head, down through the back of the head and into the neck. Relax the whole body and allow it to sink heavily into the mat. Very gently, starting to pickle your fingers and toes. And start to circle your hands and your feet. Circle them one way, so you're circling through the wrist and the ankles, and then circle in the other direction. And then stretching out, so full stretch, we're going to sweep the arms up over the head. Stretching all the way from your fingertips to the tips of your toes as you inhale. And then as you exhale, sweep the arms back down and bring one knee into your chest and then the other knee, nice and gentle, go easy. And hugging your knees into your chest, just rock side to side, massaging your lower back into the mat. Finally rocking all the way around to your right hand side, Slip your right arm underneath your head to support the neck. Left palm on the mat in front of you. Inhale and exhale here. And again, nice deep breath in through the nose. Keeping the eyes closed or gaze soft. And exhale on your next inhale. Gently press through the left palm. Again, keeping your gaze soft or your eyes closed if you can. Coming up to seated, so finding a comfortable seated position. Let your hands rest on the backs of your knees. Keep the sit bones pressing down into the mat. We're going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. So inhale fully and then exhale. A nice deep breath in through the nose, three dimensional breath, filling the lungs top to bottom, front to back and side to side, and then exhale out deeply through the mouth. And again, inhale through the nose, fill the lungs and then sigh it out. Last time, inhale through the nose and sigh it out. 